Hey guys, Cooper Carter here again for G66. And in this video, I wanna show you how you can quickly get a beautiful clean tone out of the Axfex 2 XL without touching the advanced parameters on the amplifier block or going crazy with effects. Let's check it out. All right, so the point of this video is to show you that we can create a really great preset for a clean tone very quickly. So here we are with a blank grid. Let's just go ahead and name this clean. And I'm just gonna make shunts all the way across. So empty blocks from the input to the output, and that's gonna give us a bypassed clean tone uh, that you really can't hear unless the Axfex is turned way up. So the first thing I'm gonna add, obviously, is an amplifier block, since we need an amp. And for this, I'm gonna to go to one of my favorite clean amps based on the Fender Bandmaster, and in the Axfex 2, it's called the Band Commander. So with that amplifier, you're gonna be able to get a really nice clean tone that also you can stack a lot of pedals in front of. So also, obviously, we need a cabinet. And for this one, I'm gonna use one of the ultra res cabs that is not included in the Axe FX2 uh, by default, but it is included in a zip file with the firmware for the Axe FX2. Um, by default, it is available in the Axe FX2 XL. It's the TAF Mars 112 mix. It's just one of my favorite cabs. I, I really love it. So uh, let's take a listen to what that sounds like. <laughs> So with my pretty hot pickups, there's a little bit of grit there. So we're gonna do a couple adjustments to the amp block. Because these DiMarzio pickups in my Ernie Ball JP6 are a little hot, I'm actually gonna dial this drive back a bit, uh, just a tiny little bit, because I will be playing mostly clean tones on the neck pickup, which has a little lower output. And uh, on this bass, I'm gonna take it way, way down to about one. And this one in the mid, I'm gonna take down a little bit too and I'm actually gonna boost the treble a little bit. This bright switch is on by default, and it's a really nice sound, I think, so I'm gonna leave that on there. For the presence, I'm actually gonna bring that up a good bit too, to around six, and uh, keep this depth at zero. So I know I said in the intro that we weren't gonna touch any of the advanced parameters, but actually I'm gonna go into this power section right here and just change this power tube type right here from 6L6 to EL34. The other thing I'm gonna do is just take this level up right here to about minus four, just to get a little closer to the top of the Axeflex's noise floor. And let's see how that sounds with a couple changes in there. So that's the bridge pickup. Let's hear it on the neck pickup, which is where I played the intro song. So the first thing I want to do is add a compressor. Compressor is just going to smooth everything out and it's really a go-to effect for cleans. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit here on the threshold, keep this ratio where it is, I'm going to keep the knee where it is, I'm pretty much going to keep all of this right where it is on its defaults, uh, except I'm going to actually bring the release down a little bit on this. So let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, so to get that kind of dreamy sound that I want for my cleans, we're gonna obviously be getting into some reverb here. So let's check out the reverb. I'm gonna go with the large room, 
And with this, I'm pretty much going to go with the default settings, except I'm going to bring this mix down to about 15. And we can hear what that sounds like. <coughs> So a really nice uh, expansive reverb that's not really getting in the way when we're playing, but kind of rings out after we're done. With the mix set at that level, I'm really happy with where that reverb is. So a couple other things I'm going to do. I'm also going to put a tremolo in here. Tremolo is my all-time favorite clean effect. It's a little more vintage sounding than some of the other modulation effects, um, that obviously being because tremolo was an analog effect that was built into vintage amplifiers uh, in the actual circuitry of the amplifiers. So on this tremolo, I'm going to take this rate down a bit to about 4.5, and I'm going to take this depth way down from where it is by default to about 55. We want to make sure that this LFO type is on triangle, which it is by default. So now I've got this really dreamy kind of sound. So I'm pretty happy with that already as our clean tone. I'm going to do a couple more quick things here, and these are just little tricks that I like to do to add a little bit of character to this clean tone. It's already sounding really nice, and I'd be happy with this, but we're going to do a couple little tweaks here. First off, I'm going to put a chorus in here, and I know what you're thinking right off the bat. Chorus is a pretty intense effect, and if we leave it at its default settings, it is, and it'll start sounding like a really popular song that goes something like this. <laughs> We don't actually want the chorus to be that intense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this from digital mono to analog mono just to give it a little more subtle kind of vintage -y effect. And I'm going to leave all of this at default, but I'm going to take this mix way, way down. We're going to go down to about 10% or even less. And it's just going to give this tone the tiniest little bit of something on the top. <laughs> So with that, the chorus is almost working as a kind of partner with the tremolo. So when the tremolo brings the sound back up, the chorus is kind of ever so slightly grabbing a hold of the tone and just adding a little shimmer on top. Again, it's a really subtle effect, but it's something I like to add in there just to kind of up the mix just a bit. So the one other thing I'm going to do to this clean tone is add what I think is the secret weapon of the Axefx 2, which is the multi-delay. And multi-delay, again, like chorus, is a really intense effect. Uh, unless you dial it way back. So I'm actually going to shift this to the Plex Detune. And if I play it now, you can hear that it's a very pronounced effect that's going to add a lot of ambience to this clean tone. So again, that's really altering the sound that we've had before. So what I'm going to do is actually leave all of this again at default, and I'm going to take the mix way, way down. One of the good ways to tell what's actually happening when you're adjusting the mix with the delay is just to kind of play a little bit of a chunk chunk. So we can hear it right now at 21. And here it is at 15. A little bit less, but I'm actually going to take it almost down to where we had that chorus, like below 10. I'm going to put it at about 6, so it's going to sound more like this. So it's almost kind of working in tandem with the reverb, like we have the chorus working in tandem with the tremolo. So the tremolo and the chorus are complementing each other, the compressor and the amplifier are complementing each other, and now we have the multi-delay and the reverb complementing each other to make this sonic space for our sound. And one more thing I'm going to do in this multi-delay, I'm actually going to take the decay time here down to about half of what it was, so I'm going to go 2.75. So I think we have our final tone now, and this is what it sounds like. 